Welcome to Kingdom News on God's Own TV. Today on the news, Ukraine evangelist Mike Bamiloye calls for prayer. Joshua and Tolulokpe Mike Bamiloye sends sweet message to Pastor Adeboye on birthday. Abatua season 3 release date announced. Abedui Bamidere celebrates wife on birthday. Gospel music minister and actor Joshua Mike Bamiloye and his beautiful wife Tolulokpe has joined millions of well wishers all over the world to celebrate the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God. Pastor Enoch Adejare Adeboye, as he celebrates his 80th birthday today, 2nd of March 2022. Sharing pictures of the referred man of God, Joshua wished Pastor Adeboye a happy birthday, describing him as a legend, a grand mentor, and an icon. He also thanked the Lord for the life of Pastor Adeboye, praying for more strength and peace for the minister of God. In his own words, he said, Today we celebrate a general and a living legend, a grand mentor and an icon. We thank God for your life and wish you strength and endless peace in Jesus' name. Happy birthday, Grandfather. On our own part, Tony Lopez Mike Bamiloye also wished the soft-spoken clergy a happy birthday, expressing her love. She said, we love and celebrate you, Daddy. Hashtag EAA at 80. From being a mathematics professor at a Nigerian university to becoming the general overseer of one of the largest churches in the world today, he has indeed made his mark, becoming a strong voice in the Christian world all over the globe. Gospel film producer and actor Danola Mike Bamiloe has released the official trailer of the third season of the anticipated series, Abotua. Recall that evangelist Mike Bamiloe had announced the series would be premiered at the Mount Zion Power Night on the 4th of March 2022. This announcement had prompted fans of the series to ask when it will be made available on YouTube platform for the online audience. The producer of Obotua, Damlola Mike Bamiloe, has announced that the series will premiere on YouTube on Sunday 6th of March 2022. From the trailer, we can tell that Martins played by Damlola Mike Bamiloe will be in deeper trouble. Dele will go missing and hopefully Chief Sonya will repent from his evil works. The rise and shine. For your light has come. When I'm done with your song. Daddy help me! Daddy help me! I'm coming for you. Coming for you. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth. In this heart of Jesus, in this heart and thick darkness to people. For the Lord will arise upon you. The Lord will arise upon you. Wait till you want to. I beg, not a touch me like. No blood. Don't worry! Anyone who has been on the third dimension is a ghost! This man is a ghost! No blood! Kings to the brightness of my rising. Down this 
Christian drama minister and the president of Flemishad Ministries, Wale Adeyi, has poured encomium and prayers on his wife, Adebambo Adeyi, as she clocks 50. The couple played the role of Dedu and Bamidele in the popular Christian web series, Abejoye. Appreciating his wife for being in his life, Wale Adeyi said if he blessed to have somebody like her in his life, as good wives are difficult to find. He appreciates her for making their home a beautiful place to live in, filled with laughter and happiness. In his own words, he said, Thank you so much for making our home a beautiful place to live in, a place full of laughter, joy, love, and happiness. May all you wish for come true, and I love you beyond the stars. My heart is full of gratitude on this occasion of your 50th birthday, and words will never be enough to express how blessed I am to have you as my wife. Calling out the secrets behind most of his achievements in life, he prayed that God grant our long years in happiness, good health, and peace of mind. May this day be as special as you are. I wish you longevity in happiness, good health, and peace of mind. Happy birthday, my bams, he said. Wale Adeyi is the president of Flaming Sword Ministries, a Christian drama and film ministry based in Texas, United States of America. Gospel minister and founder of Mount Zion Faith Ministries, evangelist Mike Bamiloye, has joined others to pray concerning the war situation in Ukraine, especially for the Nigerian student trapped in the war zone. Recounting his experience at Ukraine some years back, evangelist Mike Bamiloye said he visited the country when some students invited him to minister. He added that Ukraine has a lot of Nigerian students in their medical and technical schools. Sharing a video of some students being terrorized by armed gunmen, he prayed that the Lord make a way for those that are stranded. In the video shared by evangelist Mike Bamiloye, the students could be heard yelling, We are students. We don't have arms. We are dying of cold. Everybody go down. We have been here for three days. This is unfair. Why point guns at us? In his own words, he prayed, May the Lord make a way for them as many of them are stranded. As Russians invade the country on many fronts, some armed Russian soldiers are seen here pointing guns at the students. May the Lord make a way for all of them and bring them back to their parents safely. Many Nigerians have been forced to leave Ukraine following attacks by the Russian troops. Have we prayed for Ukraine? We join other believers to declare peace on the land. We pray for speedy resolution and divine cover for those caught in the middle of the crisis. Amen. A young lady identified as Mary has shared how she was delivered from spiritual attacks after an interactive prayer session with Prophetess Anne on the social media. According to information available on Prophetess Anne's page, the spiritual attack had also affected her physically. Her deliverance began after she sent in prayer requests to Prophetess Anne on the social media. Sharing her testimony, Mary revealed that she had been dreaming of carrying a strange baby for many years, a dream she used to have almost every night. Speaking for that, she revealed that the dream stopped for three days after the interactive prayer with Prophetess Anne, but later returned. Mary revealed her deliverance came when in a dream carrying the baby, she saw late prophet T.B. Joshua praying for people in a village. She recounted how she moved close to prophet T.B. Joshua despite the protest by the baby she was carrying. 
Uh, moving closer to the late prophet, the strange baby she was carrying disappeared from her back. So after like three days, I had a dream again of carrying baby, unknown baby that I don't even know how come about the baby, but I always find myself carrying the baby in the dream. So that night, after three days, that prophetess aunt prayed for me. I dream of carrying baby again, but it happens that I was like in the in my village, my father's compound. So I was carrying baby. I I was actually backing the baby. So as I was. Like, I didn't even know where I was heading to, but still in my father's compound, I saw senior prophet T.B. Joshua praying for people, just praying for the sick people like that. He was like sitting down on a chair. So I was now walking closer to where the man of God was sitting down. That's how the baby that was carrying started screaming, shouting, shouting on me that I should please not go closer to the man of God, where the man of God was sitting down. So I was like, why did you say that I should not go close to where the man of God was sitting down? The baby was like begging me that I should please not go closer to where the man of God was sitting down. And I said, no, I will go. That was how I walked close. Sorry. So when I now walked closer to where the man of God was sitting down, that's how the baby just disappeared from my back. I was like checking myself. I didn't see the baby again. He disappeared because I moved closer to where the man of God was sitting down. So from that day to today, I never had a dream again of backing any baby. She was also full of gratitude to Prophetess Anne for yielding to the call of God and for allowing God to use her mightily for the deliverance and the healing of many people all over the world. Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. The phrase, let somebody shout hallelujah, has not only been welcomed in our local churches, it has also been embraced in churches across borders. Indeed, hallelujah is the highest praise. Praise a uniting factor in Christianity. When Christians gather, races, colors, and statues are forgotten when they lift their hands up in praise. The Messiah's praise has proven again that praise is a tool to propagate unity in the world. The Messiah's praise is an annual praise concert organized by the redeemed Christian Church of God to mark the birthday of their general overseer, Pastor Enoch Adejari Adeboye, popularly referred to as Daddy G.O. Every year, the Messiah's praise is organized and aimed towards praising God for every year that the Jew has spent. And so, to mark his 80th birthday this year, 2022, the Marathon Praise event is being run for 80 hours. This year's edition is the 10th since 2012 when it was started by the National Youth and Young Adults of the Church. The Marathon Praise is bigger this year, not only in hours, but in the number of participants involved in the praise. This year, the event opens doors to interdenominational participation, which means whether you are a member of the church or not, you can be a part of the choir. The program is also being streamed live across all social media platforms for people all over the world to watch. Amid the chaos and rumors of war in the world today, it is amazing to find hundreds of youths as volunteers and participants, while millions of people across the world have continued to join the live streaming of the Messiah's Praise 2022. Indeed, praise knows no boundaries and praise binds together in one accord. Not only is this year's marathon praise geared towards fostering oneness, it is also to prepare the world for the soon coming king. The official website of the event states that about 40 countries were reached out to for this 8-hour non-stop praise session with the aim of expressing gratitude to God for his faithfulness and also to unify the church by shining the light of the gospel all over the world in readiness for the soon coming king. 
with hopes and expectations that the shouts of joy and worship of people from across the world will get to the throne of God and adore Him, groups, individuals, and over 150 worship leaders from around the world joined to raise the alarm of praise to the Almighty God. Popular gospel actor Omolara Ayola has joined millions of well-wishers all over the world to celebrate the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adejari Adeboye, as he celebrates his 80th birthday today, 2nd of March 2022. Sharing a picture of the birthday celebrant, Pastor E. Adeboye, the gospel actress and filmmaker appreciates the octogenarian preacher who had remained consistent in his Christian walk and has shown many the way of salvation for staying true to the calling of God in his life. She also thanked him for living a life worthy of emulation. She further prayed for the God's general that his new age will come with more blessings from the Lord. In her own words, she said, Happy birthday to you, Daddy, at Pastor Adeboy Official. Thank you, sir, for staying through to the calling and showing us the way to live a fulfilling Christian life. The Lord bless your new age. We celebrate you. Pastor Enoch Adejari Adeboye was born on the 2nd of March 1942 to a very humble family. From being a mathematics professor at a Nigerian university to becoming the general overseer of one of the largest churches in the world today. He has become a very strong voice in the Christian world and one of the most cherished clerics in Nigeria. We at God's Own TV join the rest of the world to wish Pastor Adeboye a happy birthday. We pray that he continues to be a light in this generation. <laughs>